Welcome to IBC 2024. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries right here in Amsterdam. So Peter, it's day one of IBC. Day How's one. the show going so far? It's going great, actually. It's a good show, as usual. IBC is always nice. It's always nice to meet all the people from the industry. And it's not only broadcast any longer, it's becoming more and more media. Media in general, A and B and everything related to media. Yeah, absolutely. I will say there is a real buzz here this year. So it's very exciting and we're only day one already. <laughs> so talk to me about AEQ. How are you positioned in the broadcast and media industry? Oh God, yeah, we, we've been here for 45 years now. So it's a company with a strong, strong background, of course, and we've been present in the broadcast business for as I said, 45 years. We're becoming more and more AV oriented. So more integrators are looking at our stuff, not only for broadcast applications, but for remote production, remote uh, control, remote, everything remote or cloud-based or virtualized or whatever. Um, so yeah, I think we, we're sort of transitioning into a new shape of EQ, becoming more and more oriented towards the AV industry in general. Not only broadcast, of course, so good. What are you seeing in the way of trends in the industry and how are you meeting the needs of those trends? Oh, well, the, it, it's becoming very much a, a wide thing here. We, we're getting into AI, we see AI becoming more and more present. We haven't got anything in AI yet, but we're doing a lot in contribution in the, in the cloud. Uh, we're doing a lot with regards to remote and virtualizations. Uh, so that's where the trend is for us. So what are you showcasing here this year at IBC? So apart from the Solaris that we did a pre-show or preview of at NAB, Solaris is a multi-coded platform. It's a one rack unit type uh, where we have eight channels and we can go up to 64 channels for contribution networks or any, let's say, broadcast networked application that we have. We're also showing a new visual radio application where we integrate our hardware. So we're making a, an ecosystem with uh, our hardware and software uh, platforms to uh, create a radio or visual radio application for, uh, for our radio broadcasters that want to basically maximize on their investment and get better revenues from different uh, it would be uh, distribution channels, basically. And what does the future hold for AEQ? <laughs> Ooh, difficult one. That. Well, we want to continue with um, our uh, presence at uh, larger sport events and, uh, and then the, the capability of being present at these events also in remote uh, applications and having people to be able to attend the events without having to be there physically, but, but actually so it's a, yeah, I think we're all in that, in to being able to virtualize and uh, make a audio, an immersive uh, experience, really. Fantastic. Very exciting times. Thank you so much, Thank Peter. You. Have a brilliant show. Thank you very much. It was a great pleasure to have you.